Uh, let us now look at one example of high pass filter. So I'll just start with the previous example of H2Z. H2Z that we had taken was 1 minus A by 2 into 1 plus Z inverse uh, divided by 1 minus A Z inverse. This was a low pass filter. If I want to convert this low pass filter to a high pass filter all right so if i want to convert low pass to high pass then how we should do it one thing is clear for high pass filter i want perfect null or zero magnitude in low frequency point which is omega equal to zero and i want maximum magnitude at high frequency point which is omega equal to pi so we can obtain high pass filters by simply reflecting or folding the pole zero locations of the low pass filter about the vertical axis in the z-plane so this is all we have to do and what do you mean by folding pole zero locations all you have to do is put uh, replace z with minus z in the expression of the low pass filter so if i define h3z as 1 minus a by 2 i have to replace z with minus z in that case uh, 1 plus z inverse will become 1 minus z inverse and the denominator will become 1 plus a z inverse now if this is the case, so if I take this as my new system function, let us see what are the poles. The poles are 1 plus z inverse equal to 0. This means z plus a equal to 0. This means z is equal to minus a. So you can see that this time pole is on the negative real axis. That means it is going to be an high pass filter. And further, zeros uh, 1 minus z inverse equal to 0. That means uh, z minus 1 is equal to 0 and this time 0 is at z equal to 1 so z equal to 1 is nothing but omega equal to 0 point so this is my 0 here z equal to 1 and my pole this time is on negative real axis so this corresponds to omega equal to 0 and this corresponds to omega equal to pi so this is the pole 0 plot and it is going to become high pass filter you can easily verify it by finding h3 of omega and then putting omega equal to zero and omega equal to pi. So if you do that, you will uh, get an high pass filter. If I directly draw the magnitude response, the magnitude response will look something like this. All right. So at omega equal to zero, we get uh, low magnet uh, magnitude. That means zero magnitude. This is because of the zero which is present on the unit circle at omega equal to zero, and at omega equal to pi, we will get maximum amplitude in this case it will be one if i draw it on both the sides this is how it will look like so this is minus pi because it is a even function so that's the response that we are going to get for h3z and verifies that it's an high pass filter